Greetings friends and welcome to another of series of the difficult scriptures finally explained. Now we're going to explain the difficult scripture that we find in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 19. That verse says, In the sweat of your face shall you eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were, were you taken, for dust you are, and to dust shall you return. Now some have questions concerning the belief in reincarnation. Those who believe in reincarnation teach that after death a person's soul, soul under quotation mark, that person's soul is reborn in a new body which may be that of an animal, an insect or another human being. It is sometimes referred to as the transmigration of the soul or metempsychosis. Now the immortality of the soul doctrine in basic uh, is basic to the belief in reincarnation. But the doctrine is false because the Bible plainly shows that one's soul is not immortal. Let us notice Genesis chapter 3 and verse 19 that we have just read. It says, For dust you are, and to dust, not another body, but to dust shall you return. Also we notice in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verses 19 and 20 that it says, For that which befalls the sons of men befalls beasts. Even one thing befalls them, as the one dies, so dies the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man has no preeminence above a beast. All go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. And finally, in Psalms chapter 146, Psalm 146 and verse 4, that psalm states that when a man dies, his breath goes forth, he returns to his earth, in that very day his thoughts perish. So the immortality of the soul and re reincarnation are not Bible doctrines.